I don't wanna be. I do. Hi, uh, I hope I'm not too slow. Uh, so I'm Clément, I'm the main developer of, for uh, the Sublime Text uh, bundle, which uh, some of you use, I guess. Uh, I'm creator of Trey Hacks. Um, <laughs> so uh, uh, besides that, for a living, I uh, work, uh, I make websites. Um, from uh, big websites with uh, lots of languages, lots of products, uh, lots of complicated things to uh, very simple ones. Um, so uh, as every web developer uh, who works on websites, I work on a CMS, a content management system, which is never ending. Uh, and uh, I need to, as, as I make lots of projects, I have to uh, start and prototype projects very quickly and very often. Um, so, uh, I think I missed a slide. Uh, the thing is, uh, I, I love hacks and uh, it's, uh, it's not really easy for uh, people that make websites to, uh, to use it because, um, as Jason said, it's, uh, it's well, it used to be uh, something that was really uh, Based, uh, make, made for the web because of Motion Twin, I guess. I guess. Uh, because of the first targets, which were uh, mainly web targets. Uh, and uh, because of the first features, uh, which were uh, really web-based. Um, <clears throat> now we have, seen, we have seen that it's not so much the case anymore. Uh, there is lots of talks about uh, NME, about uh, applications, about uh, iPad, iPhone, apps things like that, so uh, it feels like the, the server-side uh, hacks uh, targets are uh, losing interest. Um, but it, sh it shouldn't. Uh, I mean, hacks is very good, especially when you come from a PHP background where uh, uh, PHP has a, a big mess, it's kind of broken actually. Uh, and uh, it has lots of uh, appealing uh, catch lines, which uh, uh, are not really uh, fulfilled when you try it right now, I believe. So uh, what's wrong? Um, I believe now uh, for server side, it's, it's a bit uh, difficult to start uh, with. Uh, PHP developer don't feel really uh, conf con um, good with the syntax of uh, X, I guess. Uh, I don't even know if Java and C Sharp include a, a web target or something like that. And Node.js, uh, it's currently a little uh, dirty. There are lots of attempts here and there, uh, but there is nothing that is standard and uh, well supported by a, a large community. So just like Jason, I feel lonely. Uh, so my solution, the thing I'm, I'm working on uh, right now is uh, uh, focu focusing on Node.js uh, uh, to provide uh, hacks with a proper uh, server-side solution. Uh, so the goal is to get started really quick. Uh, that's one of my uh, motto, I guess, uh, get started quick. That's why I... Uh, worked on uh, Sublime Text, and that's why I, I worked on Trihax. And uh, when you make web projects, you never know uh, where it ends, so it has to scale well as well. Um, <clears throat> why not GS? Uh, it's, it's a great platform. It's uh, pretty uh, underrated, I believe, in this community. It is really great. Uh, it's very flexible compared to uh, Apache and things like that, because you can make real time and, and stuff. It's cross-platform and uh, it has a, a big ecosystem with lots of libraries and uh, use cases and modules. Uh, why not trying to make a cross-platform framework? I, I'm not too much into uh, Ufront and uh, Harfang and things like that. Uh, I don't like reinventing the wheel. As every web developer, I've made tons of frameworks which have never uh, <laughs> succeeded somehow. 
And uh, the targets are too different to have something that would play well with uh, everything. So uh, <clears throat> what, uh, what I'm doing with uh, XGS is uh, first cleaning the API that is available for uh, Haxia. So uh, it's, I've cleaned it uh, quite, quite a lot and uh, it's almost complete and it's available. Uh, <clears throat> I think it was important to integrate with the NPM. I don't know if you're familiar with it. It's the package manager for, uh, uh, for JavaScript, uh, client and server. So it's pretty much their uh, hacks lib. Uh, so uh, I included uh, to, uh, to, the AP, to the Node API uh, a macro-based way to uh, require uh, NPA pa NPM packaged and uh, to export the uh, package.json uh, file that is able then to uh, uh, get uh, all dependencies and stuff. So it's really well integrated with the, the Node.js standard tooling. Uh, and then uh, I think it's good to, uh, to uh, put everything that is related to Node.js in one single repository so it's not uh, here and there like it is right now. Uh, and uh, to, uh, I've been starting to uh, port uh, Node.js externs and uh, some other externs uh, and to in in integrate them with the, with the new NPM uh, dependency manager that I wrote. Uh, so, uh, but there are still things to be done and that's, that's also why I'm talking uh, to you right now to give me a hand. Uh, we have to stop it. To, we have to finish uh, writing the standard API and to. Okay. Left? Or. Uh, yeah! <laughs> I'm good! Uh, <clears throat> uh, so we need to polish the, the simple standard node GS API so it's easy to start with. And uh, it has to be close to uh, the node GS. Uh, the actual uh, Node.js API because uh, it's already well documented, so uh, I think it's better if we, if we stick to what they've done because it's clean and uh, documented. Uh, we have to uh, keep on uh, writing externs. Uh, <coughs> the NPM uh, management class is good for uh, standardizing uh, the way we write uh, externs for uh, Node.js, so uh, I hope it's uh, I hope there is uh, there are good practices that are going to uh, to be used uh, to uh, write externs. Um, uh, probably write a sys uh, package uh, implementation for people uh, that come from hex PHP and uh, hex uh, Nico. Uh, this is already done actually, but I have to review it and uh, include it in, in a clean way. It's been done by Diane, I believe. Uh, and then I want to next uh, plan for next uh, for uh, the future. It's uh, integrating with Yeoman. I don't know if you are uh, familiar with the tool. It's uh, it's a set of tools that uh, ease the the way you start and manage uh, your uh, web uh, applications. Uh, it's more meant to be a, a client side uh, app web application manager, but it can also be used for a server side, so it allows to scaffold new apps very quickly. And also to add uh, modules to it. So uh, it's pretty much like uh, uh, what Jason said about, uh, the, um, about uh, creating a model, views, and stuff like that. You can very easily implement this with Yeoman. Uh, you can test your uh, application locally, which is always a problem when you write uh, server side uh, applications. And you can easily build it uh, and uh, deploy it to Heroku or whatever. So, uh, uh, yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost done. Uh, there is a lot of work to do with uh, NPM and to integrate with a proper uh, Node.js workflow. And uh, that's all. I hope uh, you can give a hand and I hope uh, uh, I hope uh, the, the I hope it's going to work, and uh, we can join efforts to make something good with the uh, hex uh, Node.js. Thank you. Yeah.